it, it takes a lot of imagination to put together. Um, I think bands are just, pretty, a lot of bands just focus on music, which is obviously what they should do. Um, I think that for me, I've always just wanted to do something that was more conceptual and a lot more intricate and, and a lot more um, artistic in other ways than just music. You know, I wanted to do something that was a little bit more broad spectrum than just music. Have you ever been to New York? <laughs> um, New York is a dark city. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I think I have a lot of friends that um, that are from New York and that play play in bands. And some of them are like pop bands and they're very lighthearted. But um, I do have a lot of friends that play in very dark, dark bands. Um, I don't know. The city is kind of like, it's kind of like Gotham, Batman's Gotham. So maybe that has something to do with it. Um, influence why I'd say when I was a little girl my mom listened to Susie and the Banshees and Bowie and you know musicians like that that were very theatrical so I think that definitely influenced me a lot um, besides that right now I'm listening to like all different types of music um, Sam Smith to uh, to Hozier to bring me the horizon to these guys we are harlot that we're playing with. Um, a lot of different types of music and musicians. Um, I think it's really important as a musician to be well versed and to keep your you know, options open. Uh, you know, no, I'm, I'm I've worked with so many awesome people, and I feel so blessed to have worked with them. I think the one person that would be like the ultimate person to work with for me would be Mutt Lang. Um, he's, you know, he's just genius. Him and maybe even Max Martin because he's ridiculously talented and can write a hit out of anything. Um, but you know, Mutt Lang definitely because he's just in rock and he's, you know, legend. I mean, a lot of the conceptual work for the costuming and the designing came from a lot of um, European and Asian influence. Well, mostly Asian. Japanese culture, um, the markings on the face, um, Japanese war culture for the um, armor sort of like look that we have going on. I, you know, I've always liked that sort of look. You know, when we were on tour with Manson, I got really, I did, a, I did a show in Pomona where I jumped off the stage onto a barricade and I, like, just massacred my ankle. I mean, the thing blew up into, like, a watermelon size like, thing. And so, um, the next couple of shows, like, I was hobbling around. So I was downing all this Advil, like, I mean, handfuls of it, so that I could get through the show. And... By the time we got to the, the following show, like I was so medicated on that and I hadn't been eating very much. So we were on stage and I was just going off and then I felt so sick all of a sudden, like like ridiculously ill, like right towards the end of the set. So right when, when it was over, I um, ran off stage and I threw up like every th content of my stomach into like the trash can right near Manson's dressing room. <laughs> and I remember like, his bass tech coming out and being like, that's so metal. <laughs> and like Manson coming out and just like laughing at me. And it was just, it was funny. We, we, were, we got a good laugh out of that. Oh yeah, these guys are, these guys are great. Uh, Riven, who's played by Rich Jeswick, is uh, from another band called Gemini Syndrome. And he's an incredible guitar player and writer and all over instrumentalist. I mean, besides just doing that, he's also very good at put, crafting a stage, like musically, like what to do with the instruments and things like that. So he's he's wonderful, like musical director. Um, and then we have Xavier Moreau, who is from France, and he's an incredible guitarist as well. Um, you know, we have an amazing drummer. 
um, and bass player, you know, that are super tight together. Um, both are kind of like newer to the industry, but they're still like really, really good. So we're very blessed. Um, probably in September. Um, we haven't released anything here in a long time, and we haven't actually released anything globally ever. We released one album in Germany um, under the name Melancholia, but that was like 2012, I think. Um, and that was just demos, basically, that we put together. So this, this album is like really tried and true, like what our sound is going to be going forward. So we're pretty excited about it. I mean, I'm always going to put like a classic in there because, you know, I mean, Sgt. Pepper's is always going, going to go in there. And then Semp Eternal um, is great from Bring Me the Horizon. Um, the newest birthday mask is actually pretty good, so I'll give that shout out to Rainbow. Um, we have a release of the EP and the comic book coming out in the fall, and then more touring and festivals.